My next guest has predicted everything from Super Bowl wins to past presidential elections, and he hasn't been wrong yet. He's a world-renowned mentalist, and here now with some of his predictions for 2015. Welcome the amazing Kreskin. How are you? Joanne, it's good to, you know, can you believe in this day and age, it's like science fiction that we're now talking to each other live and we're, 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 we're not near each other. It's remarkable how our world has changed. It's, it's, I think the sad thing, and I think you, you probably uh, sense this as well, the sad thing is that we be, I don't have one of the machines in front of me we put to our ears that people are spending an awful lot of time not talking to individuals, but talking through a machine of some kind. Probably and we are too becoming much socially time. dysfunctional. Right, too much. They're spending too much time, and there's a lot going on in the brain. They say with all all of these little oh, machines I, that we're uh, using. It's interesting you mention that. You know, only because you brought this up, and uh, okay. uh, I had a special uh, event uh, last Monday, a birthday, and so forth, and I mentioned that uh, it was my decision. But I'm now involved with something called. Uh, R, like the name Randy, R2L, and it's a, a, a mere strip that goes over our cell phones that cuts down the, uh, the radiation by 70%. You know that these, these kids and our parents, you need to be aware of this, are sometimes holding cell phones against their head six and seven hours a day. Too close and it's really doing some damage. Yes, it is. Right. You, you and I were talking, and you were talking about some of the predictions for 2015, and I hope they're not all doom and gloom. Oh, but yeah. you did want to talk, tell us something about the war on terrorism, especially well, after what's been going it's, on with Paris. It's, it's something I've, I've, I've discussed on, on a number of uh, shows lately. I've uh, talked about this for two or three years. And I want to tell you, and I, I say this to you parents as well, we are unfortunately in this country no longer studying history. History isn't even taught substantially in, in high schools and grade schools and as uh, people know about the survey, four different surveys did it. I, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a silly thing from the Tonight Show, but about a third, a fourth or a third of teenagers do not know who our first president was. As far as this war of terrorism, how long it's gonna last, I am absolutely certain and I hope I'm wrong because I'm not a doomsday person. I don't think anyone will be alive today. No one will be here when the war ends because it's going to go beyond that amount of time. And before anybody gets excited, upset, and says, Kreskin, what are you, a, a, a negative person? Hell no. But the bottom line is most religious wars in history, they're the longest wars in recorded history. Wow. You were talking about children I, and, I, right. Can I interrupt for a moment? I, I, go I ahead. Think, go I, ahead. I, you got to find this interesting. Now, the, no, we're not going back to the 1920s, the 1800s and so forth, when people were going to mediums and, and spirit mediums and so forth. I'm not knocking spirit mediums. I, I do not have any evidence that people have talked to the, the dead, but there's always been interest. And we think of the days of Houdini when he was investigating these spirit mediums. We're going to see... In the next year and a half, a tremendous upsurge of interest with the average person attending mediums in the thousands. You think it was a lot in Houdini's time? No, no. It's going to be multiple, not because of all the reality shows that go to these houses where things are supposed to happen. I'm talking about people themselves going. But the truth of the matter is, it happened before the Civil War before World War I and World War II, it is always a setting of interest that seems to take place before great churnings in a society. It was, there was tremendous interest before World War I. As sociologists now confirm, they say, Chris, we never really knew this. It was out of control before World War II. It's happening now again. And it seems maybe because, and, and you would understand this as, as better than most people ever would, but there's a lot of unsettlement and a feeling that answers have not come forth. Not that they're going to get answers at seances, but that seems to be one of the directions that people go to in troubled times. So what it will do is, is sort of ease people's minds just to get some information a little bit, right? I mean, I, right. Listen, I, I'm, not, I'm not endorsing uh, seances. Houdini never answered the telephone. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it, but it is, and, it, and I'm, it's already starting. More, there are more mediums now than there ever were in history. Right. We, we obviously, 
I was just asked, I was just asked a few days ago on a um, on a business uh, network, and I am not a businessman. I don't know money, so if I if I thought I did, I would be deluding myself, and you'd be contributing to a cup I was walking around with down the street. But I was asked who, if I were to look at Congress today, and yes, there are pictures of me with Governor Christie of, of New Jersey and Hillary Clinton, and yes, I performed for all these folks. And they said, Chris, can you, you spend your time tuning in on people who, without saying I'm a Republican or Democrat because I'm independent, who would I point out in Congress or U.S. Senate that I feel could carry us out of the staggering debt we have? The debt is beyond anything, of course, as we all know, we've ever had in the history of this country. And when I was asked this question, I'm going to answer exactly to you now what I said. When I was asked the question... I paused about seven seconds, and my answer is of all the candidates, none. Wow. I don't, and I will tell you why, because I love this country, and you read our founding fathers, politics was never meant to be a job. You were supposed to give something of your life like Washington did as a farmer. He fought the war, he was a president. They said at the end of the presidency, Mr. Mr. President, would you run again? He says, no, no, time for me to go back to my to, farm. To somewhere. go back to civilian life. To civilian life. Right. And Amazing, Kreskin. You are. You have so much information, and we and we're really getting out of time. However, for hours. Right. We could do that, and we will. We'll do it again. Some Thank you so much. Or in person in the office where they're in reader thoughts. Oh my God! I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. If you've ever watched the show Shark Tank and wondered how someone goes from inventing the next big thing. Stick around because just ahead we're going to share that with an expert advice and on being a successful inventor in just one moment. Stay tuned.